Hey out there folks, it's Dave from Dave Station VR, and the time has finally come for us to discuss Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality for PSVR. Let's get into it. So what we've got here is the latest game from Alchemy Labs, who brought us Job Simulator, of course, and Adult Swim Games. Now you might notice this is not Squanch Tendo, which is Justin Roiland's video game development company. It's Adult Swim Games. And some of the issues that I had with this uh, I think stem from that, but we'll get into all that later. For now, we'll just start breaking down what I did like and what I didn't like. The first thing you'll notice when you start this up is that the graphics are crisp and clean and colorful, and they just look great. Um, I was really impressed when I first got into it. I heard some people say ages ago that PSVR wouldn't be able to pull off Rick and Morty VR. And thankfully, that is not the case. It looks great. There's no frame rate issues. Um, it seems really well optimized. The character animations can be a little bit lacking. Um, you know, you've got this really kind of high energy dialogue and the characters barely move. Um, they're kind of just stuck in one spot and it feels a little stiff, but otherwise the graphics were great. As far as sound and presentation go, um, of course they've got Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty doing the voices and, and that for the most part works pretty well, um, but the material they give him to work with is kind of flat. Um, it feels like the dialogue and the writing is sort of subpar for Rick and Morty. Um, so it doesn't really hit those comedic beats the same way the show does. And I found myself rarely laughing while I was playing through, uh, as opposed to something like Accounting Plus, where I was cracking up the whole time. Um, Plot-wise, there's not really a whole lot. There's a loose storyline, but it's really just like a skeleton to hang uh, you doing various tasks on, gameplay-wise. Um, and, and really, as far as the comedic timing goes, like I mentioned with the animations, they can be a little stiff. And uh, because the dialogue is tied to the animations, it doesn't really nail the comedic beats because characters will stop and wait after going through animations. Um, you know, it, it doesn't really feel right all the time. The gameplay here is going to be immediately familiar to anybody who's played Job Simulator, uh, but if you haven't, it's kind of a series of tasks that you have to go through and complete by taking a certain item and doing what they want you to do with it, or combining things to create something different, performing a certain task. And really, that's all intact. Um, they just kind of threw a Rick and Morty skin over it, put in a lot of items from the Rick and Morty canon, uh, you know, like Mr. Meeseeks is there, you've got your portal guns, you've got all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but at the end of the day, it feels a lot like Job Sim. Now, occasionally, they do throw something in to kind of shake up the format a little bit. Um, for instance, there's one segment that's kind of like a wave shooter. You're on an alien planet, and you're blasting away at guys. Um, but unfortunately, it's a little bit one note. Uh, it's, it's a diversion from the gameplay, but it doesn't have that much depth to it. And uh, even though you can replay it at the end of the game, I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of reason to. Now in theory, if you take the core gameplay of Job Simulator, and you throw a Rick and Morty on top, it should be something that I really, really enjoy, uh, you know, as much as or more than the original one. But in practice, uh, I didn't really have that much fun with it because the controls were so frustrating, guys. Oh my god. So as you may know from Job Sim, you can't turn. There's no click turning. There's no smooth turning. And in that game, it doesn't really make a difference. But in this, you've got several different areas to teleport between. And sometimes you have to move things between areas. Sometimes you have to grab things very low on the floor. Um, it just ends up being a different implementation that the PlayStation tracking cannot keep up with. Um, so that, I just, I almost rage quit the game a few times just due to the controls. They throw in a Mr. Meeseeks that has your hands, like he mirrors your hands to make it easier to pass stuff along. But in reality, I just wanted to kill myself. If we're talking overall content, this game is uh, 30 bucks for about two hours of game time. And after that, there's some light replayability uh, you can go through the shooting stage again for a high score, you can collect these hidden cassette tapes, uh, Jerry's hidden in there somewhere, but really the core game you're not going to want to go back to once you finish it. Overall I think this is a game that tried to merge the best parts of Job Simulator with the best parts of Rick and Morty, but what you get is kind of this Frankenstein creation that isn't exactly what anybody wanted. and. Um, I think if you're a Rick and Morty fan, you might find some enjoyment, but you're going to be a little disappointed because it, it's not up to par with the show. Um, and if you're not a Rick and Morty fan, you're definitely going to want to pass on this one, um, unfortunately to say that. Because I've been excited about this, but 
You know, we've known it's been out for a while on PC now with some mixed reviews kind of in the 7 range. And uh, that's about how I feel about it if you're a Rick and Morty fan. If you're not, definitely skip this one. This really just kind of feels like a branded corporate tie-in uh, reskin of Job Simulator. And if you're really looking for a good VR experience that captures that Justin Roiland sense of humor, Accounting Plus from his Squanchtendo uh, development company is just great. It's hilarious. I would suggest that one up and down. It is shorter than this, but it is much cheaper. And uh, it really captures a lot of things about what people like in Rick and Morty that this game doesn't capture. Um, it's more just like a fan service kind of thing. Anyways, that's what I think. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you so much. If you enjoyed this review, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, comment, whatever you feel like doing. I've even got a Patreon page if you want to give me money. But thank you so much, and I will catch you later. Troy, I need those